younger people aren't going to be able to get the vaccine for ages. This one's it's pretty true in it really. As young people are a lot safer from COVID-19, I think it makes sense that they're at the bottom of the list to get the vaccine if get it at all. As it, as it affects older people you'd want to get them protected first before mm -hmm. you protect like young, you know, younger people. There is a debate going on between the scientists about whether or not younger people should have the vaccine. We know that in the younger people if they were to get COVID their immune systems uh, are much more rapid uh, and so would be able to, in the majority of cases, uh, deal with COVID without significant problems. The side effects of the vaccine are really bad. Would you rather get COVID and potentially be really, really ill with it or just have two days off work with yeah, a bit yeah, of a cough a and a bit of a, a cold? Of the side effects to not every single medication that we take, paracetamol, ibuprofen. The, the pros weigh out the cons. Completely. Mm. Nothing's completely safe, everyone has risks, everyone has side effects, but it's got to be safe enough for, for it to be working because the numbers are going down, so yeah. it, it's doing something. If you get the vaccine, not only can you protect yourself, um, your family, but also society um, as a whole. If, if you think that waking up with a sore head, or being a bear with a sore head for a couple of days is bad, then they are really bad. Um, because for the majority of people, that will be the side effect. The vaccine is going to stop us from having kids. The fertility one is a massive, um, yeah, is a massive what if at the moment. And it's the kind of thing where if someone believed it as well, like that would be enough for them. Like if they actually believed that, they wouldn't take the vaccine. Yeah. So what if one of the vaccines isn't quite suitable for someone who is pregnant? Another one will be. I think as long as people do their research, then they will find out that this kind of stuff isn't true, but it's the people who don't necessarily go and do that research that start end up spreading this misinformation. Specifically, since January, there's been a study done on, on pregnant ladies for the Pfizer vaccine, uh, and all of those studies to, to date have shown that the, the vaccines are safe. Um, uh, for, they don't have an impact on fertility, and they um, don't have an impact on pregnancy for, for those people who are pregnant uh, and receive the vaccine. If anything, we positive, promote, positively promote pregnant ladies to have the vaccine because uh, when you get COVID, if you get COVID and you're pregnant, that puts you in a significantly higher risk group. The vaccine hasn't been tested properly. What if it isn't safe? It's like the most tested vaccine in like all of history. It's been tested properly. It's just been tested faster than the norm because of how badly we need the vaccine to try and stop coronavirus. Realistically, the government wouldn't give us something that is going to harm us no. more than protect no. us. The benefits of getting the vaccine definitely um, outweigh the risks. Since the, the, the launch of the vaccine in early December, you know, it's pretty, pretty much been given to as broad a category of people as, as you can possibly get. So we've got more than enough evidence um, that the, the vaccine is safe uh, and there aren't significant issues with it. The vaccine is a way for the government to track us. I feel like the government could track us in many other ways that are cheaper, that are, mm -hmm. um, that are more beneficial to them than doing a, you know, a vaccine that's going to cost them how much, how much money. Literally, we all, every single person carries a computer in their pocket. People are just afraid of getting the vaccine and they're almost looking for a logical explanation to not get it. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I completely agree. And it's so much easier to kind of spread um, lies on the internet such as this, um, where everyone's understandably so kind of confused and scared and overwhelmed. We've always imagined that there'll be some kind of system where the government can chip us, um, but the technology is not there yet. Uh, and it's not something that I believe, having lived in England all my life, that um, would happen uh, on stealth like this. It, you know, there's no way that anybody would get away with it. And if anybody knows anything about bureaucracy and the way that governments work, um, it just, it's just fantasy.